Ready to win. Ah, right the ear. Ah, right! Right! Ah! Yes, hello visuals, I just shouted rape. <laughs> Hello visuals, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the Visual Guys News where we have a puppet. Why are you upset? Your toys are all there, I'll put you out a little bit of dinner. What's the matter with you, wrinkly bastard? It's fair to say Optimus is quite quite clearly the one who's in charge in this house. Um, he lacks discipline and respect. Uh, I will not take this in my dojo, it shall be. He's actually going to go to doggy school soon. Next week I think, or the week after. Costs 120 bloody quid. But hopefully going to be the goodest of boys. Hello visuals, it is the Visual Guys News and we have got some awesome, awesome stories, some cool stories and one like, to, when you think about it, yeah, that's actually a true story. Um, so yeah, the, have you got your flask of coffee? Have you got your coffee? Oh shit, what have I just broke? I've just broke something. It's, there's too much, uh, uh, which dickhead, which arsehole, right, keeps coming to this house and leaving cool shit everywhere, like, like bits of... Bits of an Iron Man body that they're building in, in Pokemon tins and Elite Trainer boxes. As soon as I find out the arsehole that does it, oh, I swear to God, they're, they're gonna, they're, they're gonna mad respect because everything's actually really awesome and that person's actually me. Do you know what it is? This new new chair B, B got me. Uh, it's it's a lot bigger than the old one, and I'm fat as fuck, so I don't know my spatial awareness as much. I was like, well, we're gonna have our our first news coffee swag. Gonna have that now. But first of all, visuals, I'm going to take you down another quick trip down what the fuck gets talked about at my work lane. Because we're going to go back to Specky. Yes, uh, he's been brought up so many times on the channel. Um, I learned about a new technique which he explores on a nightly basis called ham, toilet, ham, cock, ham, toilet, or something like that. I'm going to explain to you what it is. I mean, good thing that this this video is marked for not child friendly, and it, good thing we don't get money anyway because this would be demonetized about the the topic of conversation we're about to discuss. But this new I don't know if it's a trend or what. Apparently, you get your toilet, you put a bit of ham on it, you put your pee and eye there, then you put another bit of ham on top of the pee and eye, and then you shut the toilet, and you have you have for your your experience. And I won't put it past the little lizard, the, the little mole himself, that he did not do this last night. And I keep telling him, I keep telling him, don't tell me weird shit like this. Because even if you don't do it, it's not true. I will tell every fucker I can possibly tell, or see and tell. Because it's funny. So yeah, toilet, ham, wiener, ham, to or some shit like that. So as soon as I go to work today, I will find out the results if he did or did not do it. And regardless of what he says to me, he did it. He is forever fucked a toilet. Anyway, that's not that's not one of the stories visuals. That's just a a walk down my work. Like, there's so many weird conversations that get discussed at my work, and so many weird talking points and shit. I have to bring it to you. I want to do it in a podcast form with one of the boys from work, but they're too embarrassed to talk to a, a fat weirdo like me, even though weird shit happens at my work. But anyway, visuals. Four stories. Are we ready? Dog seems to be settled down now. He's got his. I've got my e scooter tire for him. The, the tire pops. So I give him the. The actual tire itself. Now he doesn't want it. He wants his blue ball. Oh, you got your blue ball. Oh, he doesn't want the blue ball. He wants the golf ball. Oh, he wants the golf ball and the blue ball. Oh, now it's rolling this way. So if you knock the camera or the light. Oh, it's coming down this way a bit more. This is where it goes and knock the tripod. Oh, 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 we got a bit of a nudge. Good lad, Optimus. You know, good thing we're not professional here. You, you've got to work out, pal. You are a little baby dog. Your mouth can't take that blue ball and the other ball at the same time. Now he's chilling under the tripod. Ah, oh, you actually look cute there. This is when there's a little shit then it looks cute. Yeah, so probably at some point the, the camera's gonna gonna budge again, but hey ho, what a wonderful day, you bunch of aardvarks. And our first story comes in on the way of, on the way of, by the way of Twitter. Some lunatic on Twitter had tweeted out a picture of a pot window. Now I know what you're thinking. Why is that a story? But if you look carefully, this lad has got a fucking point. If we if we take the angles of the window, the, uh, the the ear the ear sort of preferences and the bit of the head and maybe a bit of a robe down the lower part of the window, somebody's chucked Yoda for a window. That's right. This instant legend is wandering down the street or whatever, or it might be near his house. I don't know. And he's just wandering along, 
he's looked at a potted window and he's spotted the most obvious thing, which I wouldn't have probably noticed because I'm an idiot unless somebody pointed out. But somebody has officially chucked Yoda through a window. Poor bastard's already dead. Has he not been through enough? Uh, we've got another story in from Twitter. This lovely lady had ordered herself a lovely little drink called the High Diddly Ho. Now, the High Diddly Ho hot, hot, cocktail, hot tail, cocktail drink. And you could be thinking, I, I don't drink alcohol, uh, so I don't actually know what's in a cocktail. I like pina coladas just because of the song, even though I've never had a pina colada. But regardless, that's not what we're talking about. So they've ordered this, a High Diddly Ho. Any of you Simpsons fans, like my lovely girlfriend, um, I, I feel like I point out that I have a lovely girlfriend all the time just to prove that she is real. Uh, no, but you, people that love us probably would have guessed what, what was to come. But she received her high diddly ho uh, with Ned Flanders and his absolute perfect muscular buttocks uh, on top of her beverage. On top of her beverage sat the most beautiful, perfect buttocks uh, with a moustache. Well, the buttocks didn't have the moustache that's on his head. But he's there with a ski stump. You, can, you all know that Simpsons episode where they all go skiing. So, yeah, she found it hilarious. She was in hysterics. She, she said it made her absolute night. Uh, and I thought I had to point it out. Hi, Hidley Ho. Ned Flanders, beautiful, muscular buttocks on a drink. Right, now, this next story, I figured I would help this lad out because he's obviously, he's trying to sell his car. And obviously, we've got millions upon millions of viewers here at the Visual Guys headquarters. Um, I thought I'd give him a hand, but... Upon giving him a hand of trying to sell his car, he already had some interaction. And somebody who was interested in the car wanted to know... <laughs> wanted to know why there was a dead body sat in front of the car. And the guy was like, no, it's not a dead body, it's me. I was taking the picture through my laptop. So he's to the poor bastard. Poor fucking bastard. He's trying to sell his car. And instead of using a phone, I don't know, maybe he's knacking his phone or whatnot. He's just sat in front of the car like, I'm trying to sell you this Yoda now. And I'm giving it... And he's it, it's just, it's just his bold little egghead and a car that he's trying to sell. Poor little baldy Voldemort looking motherfucker wants to sell his car, but his bold iron upper is in the way. <sighs> what a legend. And finally for our last story, um, it is time for some realisations. You've been doing it. I've been doing it. And I think we've all been calling Courage the Cowardly Dog. We've been calling them cowardly a little bit too easy without really understanding the facts and the nature of, of what really happens in that fucking mental little abandony looking, well it's not abandoned, but farmhouse in the middle of fucking nowhere. He's not really a coward. What are you thinking? Dan, how can he not be a coward? The show's called Courage the Cowardly Dog. Well, take a look at this. Take a look at the, the rogues gallery, some of the absolute fucking horrible nightmares he's had to come up against. We got this horrible nightmare. Absolutely disgusting. What the fuck? He's a little dog. Why wouldn't you be scared? We got this little nightmare. Again, horrible little fucking dog. We got nightmare. Now, I actually know how many screenshots I saved, so I could be doing this for a while and there might be no pictures coming up through some of these. This nightmare, I think this is the fourth nightmare. I think we did, I think a screenshot is six. Nightmare. Oh, guess what? Here's another nightmare, I think. Pretty sure we had six. And finally, this nightmare. I hope to God we got six. I mean, I could delete these clips, but I'll still put them in the video, because... YOLO? Yes, if you watch Coach and Dog and you loved it just as much as I did, I fucking love that show. I think we actually all owe him an apology. He had a good excuse and a good reason for being uh, a bit of a coward and a bit scared, because I think... Any of them creatures coming to us, we would be a little... I mean, I'm, to be fair, I'd probably throat punch a lot of them. I am kind of like Shang-Chi in some aspects, where I'm like proper mint at throat chopping and shit. Poor Courage of Cowardly Dog. In future, we would just call him Courage, the purple dog. Hey, here's an actual another story. Back from uh, Specky Lizard Mole Boy at work. Uh, and uh, my, my mate has been getting his doing my Pokemon tattoos, you know, Gary does and all that shit. He's also been getting tattoos, he's getting really good at tattoos, by the way. But anyway, Specky Boy's been getting some, and he wants the most weird mental mashup of tattoos, right? He, he wants like a leg full of mental. He's got like this Liverpool theme leg as well, which my mate's been doing, looks amazing. Uh, but he wants his, his fat thigh, he's got himself Crash Bandicoot and Uka Uka, looks great. Then all of a sudden, next week, he goes, I want Curious George. So we put Curious George next to it. And then all of a sudden, he's looking for all these different dogs to get. Courage the Cow with a dog pops up on his phone. He goes, look, I'll get Scooby-Doo. And I'm thinking, 
motherfucker, it's purple, it's curry. And she's like, is it not Scooby? -Doo? And I was just like, what the fuck? So yeah, I really want to get him on. Individuals, that is your stories rounded up. What have we got for the sports and weather? Oh, this week's sports and weather. Again, sorry, visuals, not related to sports and weather at all, but we've got a lot of mooing. Sports, yeah, whatever. Fuck you. Ah, uh, see what I mean? Cow. There's a cow doing like a weird like fight, come at me, bro, sort of thing. A lot of mooing, do you get it? Because cows moo. The weather. Ah, uh, this week's weather. Here's a very cute cow. Here's a lovely, cute little cow. Would, it, would that be a calf? Or veal? Lovely, cute little cow. Right, and uh, visuals. For this week's Dan's Happy Ending, I thought I'd take it upon myself to um, to embrace myself in the um, in the cow community. I thought I'd take it upon myself to make human and cow come together as one. So I took it upon myself, how many times have I said that? To merge the two fighting factions with a wedding. But typical me, I, I, I was wedded to a cow that is too much sass. A dance! Happy ending! There's, there's D Delilah, the sassy cow. It's quite ironic as well, because sometimes you go, oh, you stupid cow, to a person. But this time I say, oh, you stupid cow, cow. Deborah, not Deborah, that was the zebra. Um, Delilah, the sassy cow, cow. There we go, visuals. That was another edition of the unfunny, unwell put together, un shitly scripted and written out and... That was the Visual Guys news. And if somebody out there has less brain cells than me, so that would only be one, uh, like and subscribe and share the video and say, have you ever heard of this cringy fat lad that, that ha just sits there and talks shit? You go check him out. He opens Pokemon cards. Ah, ah, ah. Visuals, you guys are just the fucking best for keep me in you and keep on keeping on. Oh, that's Superhero Wednesday ending.